everybody, welcome to Fresh Trends. Mag G has come under fire for not apologizing to Heavy K. This comes after Mag G said that Heavy K had said that Black Coffee's album that won the Grammy Award was pop. We did an interview with Heavy K. I even forgot about the interview. Yes. And Heavy K said that the album that Black Coffee actually won the Grammy for was pop. Heavy K denied the allegations by posting the old interview they did with Mag G. So on that note, who must go? New black coffee or old black coffee? Because there's a vast difference in the sound and it, it speaks to what you're talking about now. Okay, to be honest, I think the old black coffee is one of the black, like, is, is that black coffee that also that inspired me? You understand me? He got me his stuff that time. He used to inspire me, like, big time. Homebrew. Yeah, Gosh. like coffee that time. Yeah, but I can say now the, 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 the new coffee. Is because was, I trust, you know, that's a very smart court man. Everything he does, he counts it. He calculates everything he does. True. So I feel like with this shift, I feel like there's places that I haven't been to that he has been to. Mm. Maybe he's seen other doors so for him to explore, you understand? But for me, it will always be that old sound. In the video that we just watched, Heavy K is heard saying he preferred the old black coffee that inspired him after being asked which black coffee he preferred. On yesterday's podcast, Mark G said Heavy K lacked human decency for asking him to apologize when his son was sick. Oh, you know what pissed me off, dog? Hmm? During the conversation when I'm like, um, uh, so it's sorted with you and coffee. And the response is like, I'm going to say sorry on the podcast or whatever, whatever. I'm like, dog, it's not that deep. It's like, well, well, now you think you're big. That's when I lost my shit. That's when I lost my shit. I'm like, dog, I've ignored so many calls today because I'm dealing with this crisis. I don't have time. But I took time out of the time that I have to respond to this bullshit that I have nothing to do with. Just because your ego is fucking bruised. And you're a narcissist and all you care about is yourself. Okay. It wasn't, yeah. Th think about it. In that time, my, my son is fighting for his life in a hospital bed. Mm. What's more important, my son or Heavy K's fucking ego? Your son. Nothing is more important than your it's son. It's your family. And then with him knowing all of that, he still goes and tweets that bullshit. Magji made it sound like they had a phone call conversation up until Heavy K revealed that it was through messages. What Magji is heard saying and what the text messages are saying is not in line. A lot of chillers have asked Maggi to apologize for saying something Heavy K never said. Here are some of the tweets. Chris Excel said, I'm always on Maggi's side, but this time the G lost it. There was no paraphrasing what he said it was fire starter that can cause conflict between two legends. The simple I'm sorry was enough, not this drama. And then another person said, Taban said, Taban Nube said, at this rate, celebrities will stop going to the podcast. Maggi simply needs to communicate with Heavy K and apologize for his mistake. In any case, he's the one that needs a reality check. And here Don also said, positive criticism is not an attack. Avoid turning the podcast to a cult. Maggi was wrong and that doesn't mean we don't love the podcast anymore. He needs to listen to opposing views.